Uh, welcome, thank you for joining me. I uh, just want to introduce you to uh, a course that started this year. We are running it in Salisbury and Chippenham, and the exciting news is that from September, we'll also be running it at Trowbridge. So the course is criminal, Criminology and Law, so let me tell you a little bit about it. First, just an introduction to the teaching team. So as we work from left to right, we've got Claire Ailton, based predominantly down south in Salisbury, uh, lots of degrees, including a master's in criminology. Moving along, we have Chris Thompson. So Chris doesn't normally get involved in the day-to-day -day delivery of the learning, but he's our head of department. So he's our big boss that we all answer to. Uh, the mug in the middle, that's me. So there I'm uh, up at uh, Snowdonia. Uh, it's a system, of course, that runs alongside public services. So we do lots of expedition type stuff, lots of land-based outdoor and adventure activities. Uh, if that's not for you, if you're more academic inclined uh, and you do have an interest in perhaps a career in policing or the criminal justice system, then this is certainly the course for you. A bit more academic, not so much climbing mountains. Uh, I'm also the Duke of Edinburgh manager for the college. Moving to the right, that's Lily. So Lily is our deputy head of department. Lily has a degree in criminology, a master's in criminology and criminal psychology, and she is now just embarked on doing a PhD. So on the right, that's Melanie. So Melanie is our law guru. So she's got her first class honours in law, which is quite impressive. So anything to do about law, she's our expert and she teaches on the course. Just a few pictures from years gone by. Uh, we do this at the higher education level as well. So we get out to talks wherever we can. We get out to see the courts. You go inside the courts, you will see real-time trials going on. Learn about the difference between Crown Court, Magistrates Court, different types of law. We are good friends with the Wiltshire Police and the Eden Somerset Police to do things like riot training. Uh, yes. Uh, Parliament, trip to Parliament, just outside Parliament, of course, there's, there's the Supreme Court. So we'll have a look in there. So we're a little bit restricted by COVID for obvious reasons. But as soon as we can, as soon as these restrictions are lifted, then, you know, we like to get out and about as much as we can to blend the learning, you know, from the classroom, the theory, uh, to real-time out of classroom learning. So what is the course going to be about? It's a blend of three disciplines and uh, two different learning providers. So you would do a BTEC, level three in applied law. That's where Mel will take you, because she's our expert. You will then do a WJEC diploma in criminology, and then you will also do a BTEC level three subsidiary diploma in public services. So it's a course academically, it's the same as a BTEC extended diploma, it's equivalent to three A levels, so that is enough to get you into higher learning, should you wish to at that time, whether you stay with us at Woodshire College or whether you go off to university. It does give you the UCAS points after three years to go into that graduate profession, if that's what you want. Criminology, year one, uh, two units. Uh, the first one is the change of awareness of crime. Uh, we'll run that up until sort of Christmas, New Year, and then we'll switch over to uh, Unit 2, which is Criminological Theories. In Year 2, Crime Scene uh, to Courtroom, so understanding how the process works within the criminal justice system, and then Crime and Punishment, so answering those questions, does prison work, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. We then move on to the law element. So year one, you will learn dispute, in, uh, sorry, dispute solving in civil law and investigating aspects of the criminal law and the legal system. Year two, applying the law, and then also the unit aspects of family law. And all these are uh, assessed. The criminology and the law aspects, uh, it's a kind of exam. Uh, the public service unit, uh, which I'm going to talk about right now, is a kind of uh, modular type assessment. So public services, year one, you will learn government policies, leadership and teamwork, and behavior in the public sector employment, and then year two, citizenship, diversity,
crime and its effects on society and police powers. So these are units that you will be assessed throughout the course of your learning. So you get to wait up for one big exam at the end of the unit. So government policies, leadership and citizenship, they're core units. They're mandatory and we sort of have to teach those. The other ones we can sort of cherry pick from different units, but we've picked the units that blend themselves and that align themselves more closely to criminology and law. So behavior in public services, it's a little bit of psychology. You'll find that criminology is a science, uh, blends quite uh, well with sociology and psychology. Crime and effects, again, understand or learn to understand why people commit crime in the first place. Uh, you know, is it genetic, uh, is it society, is it economics, and yet again, a little bit of psychology in there as well. And police powers, uh, if you have an interest in doing, in doing police work, you'll understand, you know, powers of arrest, the uh, PACE, uh, the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, the legislation that these organisations have to uh, operate under. So, a good blend of all different disciplines, Sorry, I'm just having a moment with my with my display. Bear with me, please. There we go. So, some useful information. Uh, equipment you need: files and notebooks and pens. Standard sort of fare there. If you've got a laptop or a tablet, uh, it helps. Not all the classrooms are equipped with uh, computers, uh, so. Uh, Trowbridge, for example, you may have a an IT room. Sometimes you may not, but you can log on to College Wi-Fi, which we do in the first week when you're with us, uh, and it's just going to help you take notes in class, uh, do some assignment work, do some research, etc. And we are public services at heart, so you must have a sense of humour, because while there's the business, the important business of doing the learning we need to sort of relax and have a bit of a laugh at the same time. That's quite important. It's a full-time course of learning, uh, but unlike school, you won't be there five days a week. So bank on it being two and a half days, three and a half days a week. You will spend one day learning about law, one day learning about criminology, and one day learning about public services. There'll be elements of directed self-study, where we will give you a task, a research task, and the expectation is you go away and you do some research, research yourself, you bring it back to us, we assess it, and the process goes on. We are right now doing more online learning than ever before for uh, COVID-19. All the campuses are in bubbles to try and ensure that uh, distancing and that separation. So expect some classroom face-to-face, -face, uh, but expect some online learning as well. Uh, I've briefly mentioned about the visits, every opportunity uh, we have to get you out to do some other classroom learning that's what we'll certainly do and there'll be days just to study and you'll have tutorials after the course so appreciate that you may not have thought uh, about your careers right now but there comes a time when you've got to think what do i do once i have this qualification where is it taking me it's going to take me in, into employment hopefully but uh, think about higher education as well so at Chippenham, uh, and at Salisbury, we offer a level four and a level five. That's foundation degree level, crime and criminal justice. You then get the UCAS points at level three to go to, to university. And if you do the level four and the level five with us, you just need to do a top up year with someone like Bath or someone like Gloucester. And I've got to say this with a caveat, because I can't promise anything, but we're hoping that in two years time by the time you finish in level three we'll be able to offer a level six college degree course within our own resources at Wichita College. Careers, policing, criminal justice system or any kind of public service. Your entry requirements for GCSEs at grade four must include English and maths so if you need any incentive uh, to dig in and research and uh, revise uh, for your English and Maths, you know, this might be it. We will have a problem if you don't have English and Maths and another two GCSEs, a grade four or above. Course fees is £100 payable at the start of the term. Uh, that covers trips and visits. Uh, we also have a uniform. It's not a police or a you know, quasi-military type uniform. Uh, it's just a very smart polo shirt. 
with criminal origin law and blazoned on it. Nice hoodie, looks good, students like it. Uh, bursaries, if you are in a household that doesn't meet a certain threshold in terms of family income, then those costs will be covered by a bursary. But more of that closer to the time. Other topics we need to discuss, the role of the tutor. So the tutor is uh, someone outside of the teaching team. And for one hour every week, we stop the teaching uh, and the tutor speaks to you and it's kind of pastoral care sort of relationship. So they will be asking you about your welfare, about how you're doing, are you submitting assignments on time, you know, how you're feeling, talk about attendance, talk about goals for the future. College facility is a bit restricted at the moment, but within public services, uh, you, we've got a gymnasium, if we're at Trowbridge, we've got a sports hall, uh, there's a library, there's eating facilities. So, you know, just like any educational establishment, you're fairly well looked after. Student support, that can come in terms of career guidance, it can come in terms of well-being, and you've got your teaching staff, and you've also got your tutor. So there's always a support network and a support mechanism around you. Uh, tuition fees really is just higher education. So your tuition fee is paid for and funded by the government. So tuition fees only really comes into play when we're talking about higher education. Accommodation, we do have accommodation at Lackham, should you, you know, find yourself in a position uh, where you need to find your own place. So uh, we have a student right now who comes to campus at Chippenham, but she's in student accommodation at Lackham, so it is a facility that's available to you should you require it. Entry requirements we've just gone through, four, G four GCSEs, two of which must be English and maths. Progress and careers, policing, probation, criminal justice, uh, you now need to degree to be a police officer so this course would set you up for either a degree in criminology or professional policing we try and get out and do work experience wherever we can again covid right now is restricting us uh, in many ways but you know by the time you start of course hopefully those uh, restrictions will be lifted or relaxed to some degree but we try and get you doing some work experience as well uh, the uniform i've mentioned just a very nice looking sort of polo shirt and hoodie. Enrichment activities, yeah, these are these out of classroom opportunities that I've talked about whenever we can. Go to parliaments, go to courts, uh, you know, days out doing right training with Avon Sunset Police and the Wiltshire Police. It's a very much more of a, an adult learning environment. Uh, you don't have to call me sir, you know, the uniform is, it's not a blazer and tie. It is different to school in that respect. Again, the uh, the hours that you do, it's not five days a week. Bank on it being two and a half to three. Until you reach the age of 18, some things remain unchanged. There will be parents' evenings and reports. So if there's any issues until you re reach the age of 18, then we're speaking to parents, guardians, carers uh, about what the problem is, let's identify that problem, and then you know what can we do to, uh, to fix it. There is an attendance policy right now uh, the criminology and law students are absolutely smashing it in terms of attendance. The attendance is really, really good. The expectation is to be about 95%. Uh, we know life gets in the way sometimes of that, but it's a bit of a cliche, but it's absolutely true. You know, your attendance will have an impact on your achievement at the end of the course. So we all work towards a high attendance rate. Safeguarding tutorial, you will be allocated a dedicated personal tutor. They'll support you throughout your college journey by motivating, monitoring progress and attendance, offering pastoral support and guidance and referring to special support if needed. So I'm talking about support network that's on all campuses within college. Talk, uh, you'll attend a group tutorial each week. Uh, group tutorials cover a wide range of subjects, including career planning, staying safe, Preparation for higher education, the world of work. So every week there's a there's a topic, there's key messages. Uh, your time at Watch College is all about preparing you for employment. That's what it's all about. So so we're quite good at doing that. So it's not just curriculum, it's all those other things. It's about writing CVs, it's about preparing for interview, 
It's about doing your research in terms of you know what jobs are out there or what universities are out there. So we will help as teaching staff, but you've also got your tutorial team as well. You have one-to-ones, so you know direct face-to-face -face or online virtual face-to-face -face with your tutor, just to see how you do and just to see how your learning journey is going and how you are going about getting ready for that time when you reach the job market or university. Uh, safeguarding tutorial events. So you have the opportunity to join the student union. Anything you can do that is over and above, it looks good on a CV, it looks good on a UCAS uh, personal statement if you're applying for uni. So if you can volunteer, if you can help, if you can give some element of service back to the college, that reward you will get back A is that feeling of you know uh, doing a good thing for other people. Uh, but the other sort of benefit is that it looks great on a CV. It tells the reader of that CV that you are someone who's prepared to go above and beyond. We can do that in tutorials once you start. Uh, sport activators, when we can, uh, COVID, we have a you know, lunchtime session so we can do sport. Uh, you can do dance and zumba. Uh, you know, there's a class at, at Trobe that ran quite recently where you get fit just by doing the, the hula hoops. So it's about enrichment. It's not just about slaving over, you know, work and, and a computer. So there's lots and lots of things around college for you guys to get involved in. There's expectations from our students. You are going into, presumably, uh, a uniform service or some elements of public service. So there are certain skills and qualities uh, that we expect. So good timekeeping, a good work ethic. Your, your outcome academically could be pass, it could be merit, it could be distinction. So, you know, aim high. That's kind of our sort of strap line this year. No limits, aim high. Yet. This course can take you where you want to go. So lay your, lay your, you know, your, your market style out at the start. I'm not going to sort of coast through this course. I'm going to try and get merits, and I'm going to try and get distinctions. Uh, commitment. It is challenging. It's it's not an easy course. Uh, you do have to work for it. But you know, the more work that you put in, the bigger rewards you get at the end of it. Uh, clean and tidy dress, as you would expect, uh, in policing and other public services. Uh, positive mental attitude. I can do this. If you're having problems, then you know we're here to support. Openness and honesty, so you're in that process where you've got a, a transition from being in school to being you know, a young adult. So let's treat each other like grown-ups. That's what you get from us as the teaching team, so let's be open and let's be honest with each other. Take ownership of your learning. So if there is a problem, don't blame the computer. Don't blame anyone else. Take ownership of it and then communicate. Speak to us as a teaching team, we're here to help. Be professional at all times. And there is an expectation that you will have to complete some work out of time tabled hours. So we give you ample opportunity in class to research, to type up notes, but sometimes you will have to do that uh, on your own. So I've talked about our strap line. Uh, no limits, aim higher. If you are sat there thinking, yeah, this seems a bit hard, I can't do it, the fact is, you can. You just have to work at it, and we, that's what we do. We're here to help you achieve what you want to achieve in terms of careers and in terms of going on to get degrees. So look at achievements, integrity, mindfulness, humanity, inspiration, given happiness, enthusiasm, and respect. So these are all core qualities and shared values in public services, in the police force, in the criminal justice system, in the military, in any kind of emergency service. This is what we try to engender within our course to get you ready for that place of work. Trips and visits, COVID permits in London. To Parliament here, you discover where laws are made. So you'll study this in your public service element. 
parliaments, the House of Commons, the House of Lords, back to the House of Commons, up to the Queen for Royal Sense. Uh, university visits, we have good working relationships with the University of South Wales, uh, with the University of Gloucester. So they invite us in, uh, and then you as a level three student can see what life is like. It's a little taste today to see what you can uh, experience at university. You'll meet the lecturers, you meet the professors, uh, and you know, see if you like it. Regular court visits, uh, yeah, you can get inside, anyone can get inside to see a real-time uh, case going on. Uh, we do that as a class, and obviously at the same time, as well as sort of taking in the atmosphere and learning about how the courts work, you're learning by witnessing a real-time event. Uh, have opportunities to visit CCTV security officers, the police public order training or the riot training. Uh, this is where you guys uh, can uh, legally throw things and abuse police officers because you are the rioters. And the more mental you can go, the better training value there is for the officers that are learning police riot training. So to grade the out, uh, Clink Restaurant, that is now in uh, Cardiff, it's, a, uh, it's, it's attached to Cardiff Prison. When we're talking about offenders and rehabilitation, uh, it's a lovely restaurant. All the food and all the service is prepared and served by inmates of Cardiff Prison. They are learning a skill that is going to help them to blend back into society once they're released from prison. So it's a great sort of area to study and research, and you can get to speak to the guys. They are willing to give up their time. They will tell you what they're inside for, uh, what you know the uh, being connected with the Clink charity means for them, getting them ready uh, to get a job so they don't reoffend and they don't end up back in prison. You can also participate vocational trips. So they are predominantly for our uniform public service course, but if there's space permitted, then as I say, we like to get you out about how the classroom learning. We go to RF Bryce Norton, we meet the Royal Marines, we have a good work relationship with the Army, we have good work relationships with the careers office for the Royal Navy and the Marines uh, down in Bristol. Army activities, we sometimes do a week's residential on Salisbury Plain, uh, working with the Army, Lots of sport, uh, five R, that's five rivers if you are Salisbury based uh, students. National Ambulance Resilience Unit, we do a mass casualty exercise uh, every year. Again, we work with paramedics, uh, the police and response teams, uh, and it's a simulated mass tourism shooting. So you guys get loads of fake blood, bullet holes, you know, made up, uh, bits of glass sticking out of your head. Again, the more realistic you make the training, the better it is uh, for the guys who are doing this job for real. So wherever we can, we will get out and about. Uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, sorry, I'm just looking at time, I'm quite time bound. So we are a provider for the Duke of Edinburgh Award. We are the second cheapest provider for the Duke of Edinburgh Award in Southwest. Uh, that comes from their head office. So we're all qualified, myself and Lily, we're, uh, we're low and leader trained, uh, we're members of the Mount Training Association, we're Duke of Edinburgh Expedition Assessors, so the whole team is around uh, supporting you guys on a journey through Duke of Edinburgh. We will talk more about this uh, on induction, but if you want any information in the meantime, you know, do a bit of research, uh, by all means uh, contact me directly. My email, I'll show you a public service email, at the end of the presentation, but Baz, B-A-Z, dot Murphy, at wheelchair, dot AC, dot UK. Any queries about the course content that we've discussed, or about Duke of Edinburgh, please feel to drop me a line, and I'll get around and I'll respond to it as quickly as I can. There's three levels, there's gold, silver, uh, and bronze. Uh, consider maybe doing year one at bronze level. If you've already got bronze, then you know consider doing silver. If you've got silver, consider doing gold, because you're going to be with us potentially for two years. Uh, the only thing that uh, we can't sort of guarantee at this moment is the ability to run a gold expedition, but we've got two years to work that out. So if you are interested in Duke of Ember Award, please, you know, yell out and we'll speak to you about it. We are on social media. Uh, Woodshire College has a Facebook page, but we've also got our own uh, UPS Facebook page at Woodshire College. 
uh, just things when we're out and about on these trips, uh, just to give you sort of some assurance that you know we are uh, doing what we say on the tin. Uh, you'll see lots of pictures of students out and about doing activities, uh, stories, introduction to the entire teaching team. So uh, I'm not very social media savvy myself, uh, but I'm assuming that I'm speaking to people that are. So give it a look uh, and see what you think. College expectations, the ABCs, attendance above 95%. This year, criminology and law are to an excellent. Uh, behavior, there's a college code of conduct. You're getting ready for, for work. So the expectation at college is just like any organization and business that looks at their employees, especially if it's related to any form of public service. Just about even treating people with you know, a little bit of respect. Uh, commitment, a bit of determination to succeed, but also to enjoy yourself at the same time. Uh, and yet again, a little collection of pictures there when we've been out and about doing our trips and visits. So, I am uh, nearly done. Uh, just wrapping it up now, question time. So, if you've got any questions, uh, contact us, public services at worldshare.ac.uk so that is a, a, a group box uh, so we all uh, depend on that any questions we will come back to you or alternatively as I say contact me direct baz.murphy at wheelchair.ac.uk so I am done so thank you for joining me uh, I hope that was informative I hope it's helped you make uh, a decision about what you want, want to do uh, you know, when you leave school. Uh, yeah, welcome on board. And I hope to see you in September, if not before. Okay, thank you.